Hi, this is Gopal and welcome to the relational database tutorial and this is the sixth part okay so I'm gonna talk about conditional selection okay so far we have seen selection and what we really did is select all from a table name that means we select all the columns from a table right but it is you know really important sometimes that when you have a greater number of uh, data inserted into a table you really need to narrow down your results okay for that you need to select specific part of your result so without much ado let's get started okay first of all uh, what I want to show you is I want to create a table and to save time I have already created one uh, I've written the codes for creating a demo table which is named as employee and the code insert data in it okay let me let me show you the structure of the table would be like this so we have first name we have last name age salary and post and where the data will go like this okay and if you really want to you know match with my results you can just pause the video right now and you can simply create the table uh, just give it in this way okay so let's just paste the code copy oh so it should be now let's see so databases use test okay let's paste the code here paste and query okay now paste the insert code copy paste okay done and there is an extra thing I have done here in this insert code what I've done is I I'm not entering a data in the post column alright because we have said it it could be null so I can uh, what I'm doing is I'm not entering any data in the post column alright so what I'm doing is just copying this uh, copy paste okay now let's see uh, whether it is created or not select everything from imply yep so it is created here we go now the basic purpose of this tutorial is to show the conditional selection so let's uh, assume that I want the results of a person whose first name is Jeremy alright so let's write it down let's write the code here first uh, so what I'll do is simply select which is select and uh, everything from the employee table alright and in this place I will give a condition okay it's like this where name sorry what is in the f uh, column name first name equal germ so it is done let's see if it works or not copy paste enter and here you go so as you can see we selected all the columns the star represents a wild character as we know it selects all the columns from the table employ where the first name is Jeremy so you know if I try to make it uh, more visualize let me you know show you this say what I'm doing is I am giving a condition like this I said where the names is Jeremy so what is that row this is the row and this is the row right and what I did is I selected all the columns so I will get all of these columns right where the name or the first name is Jeremy okay so this is the logic now let's see one more example let's write down something like this select now this time what I'm doing is I want to select specific columns as well I don't want to select all the columns or all the 
result set okay what I'm doing is I want to select all the columns all right let's just define the column names so let's see let's uh, say first name last name age okay from the employee table where salary now please notice here salary is greater than and let me see what are the data I have salaries are double line triple O double five triple O one O triple O three four triple O two three triple O let's say let's say we want to get the uh, person's name whose salaries are greater than thirty thousands okay so I'll write down thirty thousands okay put a semicolon to end your SQL command copy it and paste it and there we go we have the names of the persons that is uh, Megan Fox uh, Michael Jackson Russell Woodcock whose salaries are greater than 30,000 uh, please check it out yep that's right fantastic absolutely correct right so as you can see we can also give condition to limit uh, our results in, in a way of range all right in the same way let's do another example select uh, let's say same thing first name last name age from employee table and the condition I would give here is this where age is greater than 50 and then we give an or operation and then we say edge is less than 25 uh, let me first show you what it uh, gives the results then I will explain to you um, copy this paste it and here we go so what I did is let me explain it here I selected the first column that is the first name last name column age column from the table employee and I specify the conditions please list only those persons whose edge is greater than 50 or it could be even less than 25 so what you do the edges there we go the edge less than 25 or this with Cook Russell greater than 50 is Jeremy Shara and Bunny Crest right so that's it okay let's take one more example here now this is uh, gonna be a real interesting one a real interesting um, you know selection conditional selection sometimes we may need to know the names of people say starting with a single character say s and I don't really don't care about what are the names what are the letters after that I want the names of those persons whose name starts with the letter s okay or in this case in here I will you know show you a person name or on a number of persons whose name starts with M the first letter of the first name starts with M okay so let's uh, do it where first name then we give this keyword like give a quotation and we give M and I really don't care what would be following the letter M so I give a while character and that while character is percent what is percent sign denotes is that number of characters I don't care about how many number of characters are there following the M alright the first character has to be M so let's see if it works paste it and here say first name Megan Fox and Michael that means the name starts with M and I really don't care what are the names but I am specifying a name which starts with M you can try it with a different one okay if I really want to mention say if I want to mention that two characters has to be matched if I say M E then what I'll get guess 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 come on make your mind work come on what will the result it should be Megan Fox yep that's right okay similarly I 
I'm specifying the first letter uh, only a single letter but I'm not specifying what would be the character so what I do this I do underscore that specify the first character a single character that means remember single character is represented by underscore and any number of characters is represented by person sign okay a person sign so person and say e would be the second character specifying it and I really don't care what would follows so I'll give a person sign let's see copy this or is it paste it and here we go as you can see I really didn't care about what we do the first character but I really specified only single character okay that is M J and J second character should be E and E and I really don't care but incidentally we have the same name uh, I mean Jeremy Jeremy but you can try it with your own results you know uh, table set you'll get good results okay I hope it has been informative to you and I'd like to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.